Okay, so cup wheels. Cup wheels, different cup wheels. There's, here's just a couple of them I have here to show, uh, to talk about, show and tell. So this cup wheel and this cup wheel will seem similar. Um, but they're not. You have different venting, if you will, for cooling it down and getting rid of dust. Um, and now top of cup wheels. Let's just come and jump around under a little bit. But first off, this cup wheel is not as um, um, machined as well as, as the one that's on here now. This is machined better. It's got a larger lip. This one has a thinner lip. It's almost like it was um, um, fused on top of here. It's a, uh, this is a steel. And this is more of a cast material. And then we have, um, what's more of a diluted metal or polluted metal. And nevertheless, all right, so your diamonds. Um, we don't want to worry about too much about the, how bad this looks in here, the quality of it, which is not that great, but compared to this one. But let me see if I can turn this flat, and I'm trying to look at the camera at the same time. Now, the flatness of this guy, you would lay it flat on something flat. This will not do it. But between the variations between when I lay this on something that's machined flat, the variations between all of these are pretty damn good, with exception of one tooth out of all of these. They're pretty much all hitting at the same time. They're, they're laying flat on the, uh, on, sorry about that, I'm pretty hot, dusty, and dirty. They're all laying flat. So this is going to give you an even, a more even um, grind, if you will. It has nine teeth. This one has three, six, nine teeth. The more teeth you have, um, um, the less chatter it will be against the ground when you're using these aggressive PCDs. If you had six teeth, you only have six points of contact. And based on the speed of the RPMs and how much you're trying to drive it into the into the uh, surface, uh, it's going to give you the rocking back and forth, the tapping back and forth, the vibration. Since this has nine points on it, um, you're going to be able to keep this flat and, and do some good, consistent grinding. Um, this one is totally off. Um, it's got a lot of inconsistencies in the manufacturer, and I came to an agreement where he'll let me keep it. I'm not going to really use it. For a 50%. Uh, I gave him 50%. Basically, I gave him uh, I won't tell you what I gave him for him because I buy him in bulk, and I don't want to do that. Um, so... Oh, okay, it's in the background is so, so you guys know what that is. It's a concrete pump. Uh, re overhauling the uh, pistons on it now. The pump pistons. So I'm going to try to use this aggregate to show this aggregate to show what we're doing here with with the uh, with this whole grinding thing. Now I'm going to do this on the cuff, so on the fly. So it's going to be a little a little little different to see how this works, but we'll find out. So here's the imprint of this guy, and let's take a look. That's what you have at con your contact at any point, any one time. That's your contact surface points. This gives you an idea. Uh, if you can't visualize it just by looking at the bottom of it. Now we go ahead and add the T on it. The T, the T, the T guys look like that. So again, let's grab this guy. So that's the T. That's what they look like when they're working. And these guys look like that. So, so, okay, now, these are just talking in general. The, these slots and all this, this is to get rid of the material as, it, as it's grinding to kick it away. Each manufacturer designs a different, a little different technique. Now you see those two guys. Now we go to a PCD. And we see now we're down to this. In a, imagine this in a circle it's on this now. It's only hitting on that little bit every now and then. And now the top every at your, based on the rpms of your machine now at the tops of these guys are all you're hitting this very point so that's your surface area that this is working the working area of this is not the entire diamond is not the entire diamond but rather just let me see if i can do this for you just a tip of this that is your your, your surface area as it grinds down the surface area gets a little bit wider and you get more surface area. But right now, um, you've got that much surface area at any one time hitting the uh, surface. 
the maximum you can hit. With that said, you, um, you've got this machine spinning at so many RPMs, and the more pressure you put on, the more aggressive it will be into the surface. So you can be, you know, not so aggressive, if you will. But the more aggressive, you know, the more the more speed and the more aggressive, meaning the more you press down, the deeper this will go. So if I were to have this going at a very slow speed, let's see if this works, a very slow speed and pushing forward at the same time, that would be my pattern. See that? That's the pattern. So it's skipping as the teeth turn and all that. That's, just, that's the first tooth, second tooth, third and fourth tooth. And it just skips this area here, so that's why you'll see material left. But if you were to go slower with the same blade and allow each one to do more work, sorry, I've got to put it down for a second. Each 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 area to do a little more work to push it out of the way like that, you're going to get a, a more of a radius, more work done in the same spot. So you don't have to push with these guys. You shouldn't have to push down too much. That's the aggressive one. Now, same thing with this. This is pretty much full coverage at whatever grit th th this may be. Um, so it's not going to have any real gaps between it. That's what it looks like. It's going it's to back itself up to cover the overlaps are there. Um, now we got this guy. Got this guy, let's see. And that's just a smooth finish. That's just going to not have any any breaking at all. So you see the chatter out there as I lift that, lift the uh, blade up. I dug into it, dug into the surface. I'm looking through the camera as I'm doing this, so it's kind of tough. You can see that you're gonna look at the back side of it. Then you can see that it's gonna get a lot of good coverage. Okay, back to so. Do you want the more aggressive? Now, well, let's put it this way: if you try to remove epoxy, epoxy with this, it's not gonna work. It's just gonna foul up. Now you also have the hardness of the concrete or the hardness of the epoxy, things like that to deal with. Is it going to foul up? Is it, are you going to heat the epoxy and then just glaze it over and you're not going to get anywhere? Um, and you can try this, you know, you can try another, uh, I guess, higher aggressive one, if you will. And again, if it starts heating and glazing over, it's no good. This last one, of course, this is just going to take it all off. This is going to be an aggressive grind. You're going to get down to the concrete with this depending on the thickness of course but you will get down to the concrete there's really nothing for it to uh to uh, heat up on this little small surface there to get to get on top of but again your your whole business your whole working your your entire working area is so limited you know it's the top of these guys it's the very top you don't have that huge area anymore you've got you, know, you could do the measurements on it but you felt like calculating the tips of those and you might have, uh, I don't know, at any one time, you might have, um, look at the tip of this again. You might be somewhere around, uh, depending on how deep you dig into the act, into the material, you might be anywhere from one inch to less at any one time, your entire surface area. Everything combined. Now I dug into that, so that's really dug into it. But if I could somehow, if I could somehow get this down to down to this, you would see that you're not digging in. Can't even more fine than that. You're going to make a very small path, and that's uh, asphalt. I mean, this is sand. So looking at that sand, I it's kind of exaggerating the camera, but in reality, that's probably a nice dig. That's probably, uh, you know, almost an eighth of an inch deep. So if you were going to use this for sand, it'd be awesome. But that's not what this is. Um, so that's it. That should bring you up to speed with it. Again, this is for just... This is just the structure of that it's going to heat up pretty. It's going to heat up pretty nice. Um, this is going to help you remove your material, get your materials away from you. Um, if you've got a dust collection system, that would be the best way to go. I'm sorry, the best way to go would be water, of course. Um, and this helps again move everything away. Well, I hope that helped explain a little bit of the of the uh, PCDs and cup cup. Uh, 
cup diamonds, diamond type materials. So I have a, uh, something else I can show you. As we put down this cup wheel, watch how it fills with, watch what it fills with stone, if you can exaggerate how it, if it, where the material would go to. You can see it would come out of these holes, it would go back behind this and forward the way this T is shaped. And then as we grab, grab this guy, it's just gonna foul up. It's, it's gonna be, because it's gonna be fine aggregate. It's, you're at the fine aggregate. You're not gonna be trying to knock down a half inch of, of uh, surface with this. And it fouls up the, the grooves. So you'd want to keep these, make sure that that's, that's clear anyway. But hopefully, uh, hopefully that's helpful for you. I'm not, not sure if it is or not, but we'll see.